This is the Wire for 2200 Zulu, July 16th, 2024. Precedence is routine. Information cutoff is 2100. Bottom line up front. Houthi attacks continue to escalate in Red Sea. U.S. Secret Service under scrutiny for security concerns expressed in the wake of Trump shooting. Beginning with international events in the Red Sea Horn of Africa region, Houthi attacks on commercial shipping continue to escalate. Yesterday afternoon, Houthi forces successfully attacked the merchant vessel Chios Lion, a Liberian flagged tanker. This attack was carried out via unmanned surface vehicle in a similar manner as the merchant vessel Tudor, which was sunk a few weeks ago. Analyst comment. The status of the lion remains unclear, however the Houthis released a video of the attack showing the detonation of the USV against the hull of the lion. From this footage, it is likely that the lion suffered extremely severe damage during this attack. Administrative note. As a reminder, CENTCOM and other U.S. government agencies have modified the term unmanned surface vehicles to be uncrewed surface vehicles due to the DOD's policy on gender neutral language. This policy to modify doctrinal warfare terms has been in place for some time, but frequently causes confusion among those who are unaware of the stripping of the suffixes men or manned from certain terms. Most of the time, the acronym remains the same. However, keyword searches throughout military doctrine are made more challenging by the altering of such language. This should be considered when conducting independent research. On the home front in the United States, CNN has claimed that President Trump's security detail has been increased due to an alleged Iranian plot on his life. Analysts comment, this is overwhelmingly likely to be a lie intended to detract from the security concerns observed over the past few days. In Texas, recovery efforts continue in the wake of the damage caused by Hurricane Barrel. Crime has increased substantially in some areas, as many linemen have reported being attacked while trying to conduct repairs on electrical transmission lines. In Pennsylvania, questions remain unanswered regarding the Trump assassination attempt, with what little information that has been released resulting in even more questions. For instance, the director of the U.S. Secret Service has provided more information regarding the reasoning behind why no security presence was on the roof occupied by the shooter. U.S. Secret Service Director Cheadle stated that the pitch of the roof presented a fall hazard risk, so it was not occupied by security forces before the incident, even though it was identified as a security risk. Analyst comments for this wire. Over the next few weeks, the U.S. Secret Service will likely seek to engage in narrative shaping to prevent the truth from coming to light. For one, the claims of the pitch of the roof occupied by the shooter being too steep and presenting a fall hazard are almost certainly false, as that roof was less steep than an adjacent rooftop already occupied by a U.S. Secret Service CAT team. While the old adage of never attributing to malice what can be ascribed to incompetence is certainly true, we must ensure that the inverse is not attempted by the U.S. Secret Service within the information system space. Over the past few years, it has become clear that the knee-jerk reaction by most federal agencies when faced with scrutiny is to lie, even regarding easily verifiable information. This, while not surprising, unfortunately influences the lessons learned by the average person who seeks to reduce the risk of tragedy occurring again. Though purely speculative, it must be considered that lying so openly and deliberately about a roof pitch being too steep would bring about complaints of DEI practices, incompetence, etc. Any Anything but malice. Somewhat ironically, the U.S. Secret Service lying to make themselves seem like incompetent diversity hires because that narrative is somehow more palatable than the truth is a concerning detail that is likely to be overlooked as all sides express the somewhat justified outrage over practices observed during this incident. This concludes the wire for 2200 Zulu, July 16th, 2024.